Hello, everyone's everyone's. I am here for my review of Black Lightning Season 4, Episode 8. If you were new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, you one of my peoples, welcome back. I am really trying with Black Lightning. Now, y'all know Black Lightning is my show. Love it down. It's just that I don't know what it is about this season that is really not sitting well with me. It's like they just throwing any and everything to that together and it's it's no shade or anything in to the actors they're only being they're only acting what they're told to act with the script that they are giving it's just that i'm not feeling the way the things are turning now grace her welcome to the family her surprise welcome to the family party is interrupted by the fbi because they say that he has been embezzling money from Garfield. They tear the whole house up. Now, I don't know a lot of the role of a principal. That's my ignorance, if you will. But I didn't think they handled money like that. I thought that was like the school board. They're the one to be like, hey, this is the money for A, B, C, and D. Now, if I'm wrong, y'all respectfully leave a comment below. But I didn't think they played a large role in that. And then on top of that, Jefferson doesn't really have a lifestyle of Flash. So what are they saying? He stole the money. Now, we're going to get to that in a little bit. But, like, he lives in an... You know, nice neighborhood, not, you know, balling out of control, drives a nice car, but he's been doing this for a while. And wasn't he like a, an Olympian? So I'm pretty sure he had some money from that. And on top of that, Lynn is a doctor. So he wasn't doing a lot of flash. And it didn't seem like, now, you would think if this was going on, somebody else at the school would have caught on or whatever. But needless to say, he definitely believed Tobias is behind this. Like, who else? I was like, I don't know why Tobias is so upset with doggone and Black Lightning like slash Jefferson. You the one is the doggone drug dealer. You the one is the doggone it, the villain. You were the one who killed his daddy. Why are you trying to take him down? Anyways. I was wondering how they was going to thrust new Jennifer into school. But her story is that she is a cousin from Lynn's side and she army brat and she wanted to spend her senior year in the States. I was like, okay, that's cool. So what are we going to say happened to Jennifer? Oh, Jennifer decided she wanted to study abroad. That's what she wanted to do. Study abroad. Now, mind you, she didn't tell this to any of her friends or get on social media to say that, hey y'all, studying abroad, I'm going to be in Prague for my senior year. I'm going to be in wherever, Paris or Italy or wherever for my senior year. It's just that she up and left. That was it. I was like, okay. that That's what y'all going with? Okay. So, this is what... One of the things I didn't like, now, now that it's got out there that Jefferson was embezzling money from the school without any proof at this time, I believe. And there's one student, he's, I guess he's a, call himself an activist for social justice, I don't know. Dog and Jefferson talking about some, he's been preaching to us for years about what we should be doing and doing good. And he's stealing the money from us. We need our money back. We need our money back. And I'm glad it was one student that did not believe that. It's like, Mr. Jefferson, he's been there for us. He's made sure a lot of people who could have been in jail and or no longer of this world and made sure that they graduated, went to college, and made something for themselves. You can't just believe anything that people say. They lie all the time. They will lie or just ignore things all the time. I'm not gonna get all the way into that, but I'm trying to I ain't trying to get my you know my video blocked or nothing like that. So we go how can we we can say this? There are certain people who will be like, You shouldn't do that, you shouldn't do that. But then when somebody that they like does it it, they had they hush or they're praising that person for doing it but when somebody else does it it's wrong 
read between the lines right there. So you can't just believe everything that you hear. You do your research. Know that this man, he has never showed any in... What's the word I'm looking for? He has showed integrity through and through. And he's been there for these students. Through the students. Stood up the people who had guns on the students. That's what he has done. So, Tobias out here playing old games. Now, Jefferson's daddy's house in the whole neighborhood seem like it's going to be taken away from them by some way or form. I wasn't really paying attention, which I should be doing it. But it's just like this this season is really working my nerves. They're going to put a hospital there. Now, remember, Marcel and his family have been living there because they became homeless after he lost his job and all that stuff. So... He got Marcel standing up there talking about some, yeah, this is Marcel right here. Him and his family, they were homeless. And then, and on top of that, he's giving everybody in the neighborhood a little stipend because they're going to be homeless. All at the hands of him, mind you. I was like, this is the same thing he did with Khalil. He was the one that shot and paralyzed Khalil. And then whispered in Khalil's ear like, well... You know I can make you walk again. Mm -hmm. The same thing. You was responsible for all that mess going on with Jefferson's daddy's house getting taken away. And now you're going to give this man some money to make it seem like hey, you a good guy over here. And like Jefferson ain't nothing. Jefferson gave you a house. Well, I mean, he ain't blaming Jefferson. He just stayed like this man. He seems like a really good guy. You know, he gave all the people in the neighborhood some money once their houses were taken away. I'm going to stand by him. I'm like... And had nobody stated how Tobias, Tobias, Tobias been around since the 60s and he looked the same. Ain't nobody going to mention that. That Tobias is a known drug dealer slash gangster in these streets. Nobody's going to mention that. But he running for office? Okay, anyways. Now, CT looks into some things. And all signs point that it was Jefferson that was behind, you know, the taking of the money. I don't know. It, it looks so good that it could. It, it, might, it might as well have been you done it. The money was sent to an offshore account in Jennifer and Anissa's name. We also find out that, hey, Lynn out here giving um, Uncle Gamby the serum for old girl to work for Tobias and she is a she I don't remember what word they said but either way she basically if you are around her you can't use your powers that's basically y'all that was the just cause it didn't think it was happened y'all this is not even a 10 minute video I'm telling y'all I'm so frustrated with this season so y'all that was a just if I left and thank God by all means leave a comment below if you are new to my channel Welcome, feel free to subscribe, it's free, all day, every day, free 99. Make sure your notifications are on, so am I, we do for Facebook, for video, you can click on it, you can like it, and you share it with your people, and you can come over and be one of my peoples. If you're already one of my peoples, oh, welcome back. Y'all know what to do, tell your people, to tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples, by clicking that icon above. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.